I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. We are in the thick of earnings season this week. Now, we're not going to cover every single company that reported their earnings, but we will hit the highlights. What is interesting to note is we heard from a lot of these companies is that COVID-19 isn't hurting the cannabis industry as much as it's hurting other industries. All right, let's just jump right in. DW Pharmaceuticals reported total revenue of $120 million for the first quarter. This is versus last year's revenue of $39.2 million. The net loss for the quarter was $8 million, and that is way better than last year's net loss, $50 million. New studies will be delayed due to the virus. Grow Generation continues to crush it on revenue. Their first quarter sales came in at $33 million. Now they did report a net loss of 2.1 million, but that had a lot to do with some executive payouts on stock and such. Charlotte's Web delivered revenue of $21.5 million. Now that was slightly below last year's revenue of 21.7 million for the same time period. However, it did beat the Yahoo Finance analyst average estimate of $20.78 million. Now the company also reported a net loss of $11.5 million. That's versus last year's net income of $2.3 million. They said that B2B sales were down. D2C direct to consumer sales were up. Boy, uh, Covalent Collective, more bad news out of this company. It's a private company. We've been following this story for a couple of years on Green Marker Report. Well, it turns out that this company is asking for more money from its shareholders, but also the FBI is starting to question what's going on there. Take a look at the story on Green Mark Report. Too many details to give you here. Alicia Health is doing a bought deal for $13 million. So there's still some capital raising going on out there. And psychedelic medicine company Champignon Brands is acquiring the California-based ketamine treatment company called Wellness Clinic of Orange County. It's a cash and stock deal they're paying. 600,000 in cash plus a million in common shares and then another half a million in shares should they hit some goals. And really that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Forchart reporting for the Green Market Report.